Hey gang, I've got the uh, Sonic cleaner, ultrasonic cleaner on. It's going to take it a while to warm up, but we're going to get the carburetor off of here. Take a look at the condition of it. Let me go get my pender pan. Pender pan, PP. Hang on. I'm getting it. just start naming them pender pans huh got my pender pan so what we're after is the carburetor and we have yeah I'm going old school look at me using hand tools here Uh, before you guys see this video, you may have already seen the Yamaha V-Star video, and I misspoke, said it was a 1200, it's a 1000 cc, or excuse me, 1100 cc, so we've got, uh, the, uh, 1100 cc um, it's a half decent day out so while the parts washer is warming up after I get the carburetor off here and take a quick look at it um, I do need to take a little trip into town and get that's not too bad back there we'll get that cleaned up trip into town to run to the bank take care of a couple things there let's get that fuel line clamped off you want to use an actual fuel line clamp let's do that someone's in a hurry <laughs> uh -huh. he's gone whatever it was let me move those down a little bit that a good spot I'm trying to stay out of your guys' way nope back a little bit. Come on, let go. There we go. Let's see if that's good. Ah, it didn't move. I'm just trying to get it centered on the rivets. There we go. Alright. Now we can get in here and get those clamp off. Maybe. If I can hold my tongue right. You guys are sort of, kind of, just a little bit in my way. Why are you in my way? Hose pliers. There we go. And this is, uh, I believe I already told you guys, an ethanol issue that we're having with it. I don't need that out there. Let's see here. It looks like we've got seven sixteenths. Now, this is an ethanol issue. All too common. All too common. Let's see if that's right. I don't think that's right. I think it's three eighths. Yeah, three eighths. And we go ahead and zip it off. one get the other one and there's two I'm tossing them in there so you guys can hear yep they're definitely going in there all right get the air over here and I have to plug the air in that might help uh. 
There, now we have air. I just need to clear these. So I can get those spun out of there. And yes, I'm using my JIS, but there's, I already got that one. I'm using my JIS driver just because it fits standard screws better than a standard Phillips. Isn't that nuts? I'm getting this off just for ease of getting to the carburetor and also so you guys can just see a little bit better. There, now you can see a little better. Plus, I've got to get the governor vein off of there. Not just a little bit of stuff in there. It's not too bad. That's good. Um, this is a choke-o-matic, so as, when the engine starts, it opens the choke. So I'm just going to take that nut off and lift this off and just leave that on there. That one is smaller. What is it? Is it five thirty seconds? Oh, it's quarter inch. There we go. I will not be putting things back together with the impact. That gets that off. Now we need to get the uh, carburetor out far enough. Let me go ahead and pop that spring off of there too. The throttle spring. Loosen that up. Now we'll back it off. And we'll tilt the carburetor down and just pop the linkage. Just like that. There we go. We've got the car carburetor off. You guys just need to turn around for me. And uh, we'll pop this part, take a look inside, see what's going on. Should be able to clean it up without any problem, I would think. Gasket looks good. This engine's not very old. Or this mower's not very old. Let me check the date on it. It's maybe 10 years old. Ah, exactly, 10 years old. Made in 2009. So, nailed it. All right. Let me turn you guys around. Or I'll just move you. Cooperate. There you go. All right. Let's move these two guys out of the way. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Thank you. We'll set them aside. It's got a new filter in it. I just serviced this mower last season. You can't. I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And as a result, uh, you tell people you've got to use ethanol treatment, and invariably, they will not use ethanol treatment. So, I'll take their money, I guess. Harp on it long enough, and they spend enough money on it, maybe they'll eventually get the idea. See what's going on. I'm just letting the fuel out. I'm not gonna guess that the that this is what's plugged up here. Yeah, it's not. It's plugged up. So lovely. We'll get our little cleaner. Let me find it. I know it's down here. I have a little piece of copper wire that I use. And I have my regular pipe type cleaners. And I'm looking for my copper wire. And it is evading me. Well, this one, this here is probably small enough. Let's see, is it? Okay. Got that clear. I'm just going to blow in there a little bit of compressed air. That's clear. Pull the float off. Put 
and needle. And obviously we did not have a problem with the uh, why is this unbalanced? Sit down. Thank you. Um, we didn't have a problem with the float bowl because there was fuel in it so we know that that's okay. We're still going to blow a little bit of air in there just to clear that and always hold your thumb over it because if you look down in there there is a little rubber seal you don't want that to go flying so just hold your thumb loosely over there so that when you do blow just a tiny bit of air that you don't end up flinging <laughs> that little guy all over everywhere um, now we're going to get in and each one of the little passages we're just going to blow through coming through fine. Let's go through the main. That's fine. I could probably do without the parts washer, but do you want to just try to throw it back together and see if it'll run? Huh? What do you think? Let's do that. Let's just throw it back together and see if it'll run. I'll still take it back off and clean it, but I'm just curious if just using a little bit of nearly free compressed air would be enough to uh, cure what ails it. And I'm also going to let some of the fuel drain out of the uh, tank just to get the water out because the water will be sitting at the bottom. Make sure that this seals good. Yep. Filling up fine. Get this on there. Come back here. There we go. Hopefully, you guys are watching. I haven't even been checking, have I? Okay, I just blew everything out with the compressed air. So, come back over here with me. We'll stick it back on there. And let's, uh, we'll see if it's going to run. Get your clamp back down. Just run around so you can see what's going on. Alrighty. Get this rod back in. There we go. Let me get the nut driver here. I'll just get this one started in here just to hold it up. Sorry if I'm in the way. I'm working here. Stay. Stay. I love these knurled extensions. You can grab onto them and just twist until you can't twist anymore. I like it. It's nice. Alright, got that seated down good. We'll stick that back in there. Make sure that the little lever down here goes down into the choke. And just put it back down. Where's it at? It exists somewhere, doesn't it? I got it. Quarter inch, so we can tighten that down. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, aren't I? About nothing but the job at hand. Let's get our spring back on over here. There we go. Uh, 
the lovely allergies. Gotta love the allergies. Let me get a little pan or something that we can drain a little bit of that into. Hang on. Just do this entire thing. One long take. You alright with that? I am. Okay, I've got part of a one liter bottle. A little bit of oil down in there, but we're going to see if we get any, uh, any water coming out of that. We'll let a good bit out. Color doesn't look bad. Doesn't smell bad. Let's see. I take it back. It does smell bad. And it's it's pretty yellow. And it's cloudy because the water hasn't settled yet in there. But it, we do have water. So I'm going to drain that tank out. And I guess we'll do this in two takes because I need to get all the fuel out of this tank. And you guys don't need to sit and watch that, now do you? I suppose I can just keep using the same bottle. You guys want to sit here and watch me drain fuel? It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Alright, I'll see you guys in just a second when I get this emptied out. And here we go, no hose clamp on there. We've got her emptied out. Now... Go ahead and blow off this air filter base before I put it back on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, got that taken care of, so let me cover that so I don't get any junk in there. Get the fuel line back on. Dumbadida, dumbadida. Moving right along. How long we at? Oh, I just restarted it. That's okay. You guys will either sit and watch it or you won't, right? Appreciate you watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and all that. Sometimes you may only need compressed air. We're going to test that theory right now. Like I said, I'll, I'll pull it back off and I'll, um, I'll go ahead and um, you know, I will. I promise. <laughs> I will go ahead and uh, clean the carburetor in the parts cleaner anyway. But I just want to see it just blowing it out. This is for my entertainment as well as yours that you may only need a little bit of compressed air and to get the water excuse me to get the water out of it that's a big thing there is getting the water out of it now we're just putting the air cleaner base back on we'll snug it down Here's why I like this. I think I showed it on another video. I like the extensions with the knurls on them too. Don't get me wrong. But this here is the bomb. Alright, we're good. We're tight. Everything's golden. Let's go ahead and put the air cleaner back on. We will get this thing down on the floor and see if uh, it's going to run. What do you think? 50-50 shot. Either it will or it won't, right? Let's get that lined up. I'm going to go ahead and get those screws out of there. Nah, I don't need to get the screws out. I can just line them up. Get that one lined up. Hoop. It came out. I can't see the hole. 
never had that problem. And remember, turn the screws backwards, especially if they're going into plastic. Turn the screw backwards until you feel it drop. Then you'll know you're in the original in the original uh, threads. So you're not cutting new threads every time, especially with these relatively aggressive screws. This is a machine screw, so I'm not worried about it. Just run that sucker down. There we go. All right, let's get it on the ground. We will not pause the camera. Put some fuel in it. Let me go ahead and back this up for you guys, maybe. These bulls wobble, but they don't fall down as far enough away. this cable yet. I have to fix that cable. Don't I? Why didn't you guys remind me of that? I forgot about that. Alright, well, that's okay. Let me get you guys up under here and I'll show you what uh, what's going on with this cable. Just drop you guys down here a little bit. Let's see if we can get a good look we'll get some light on the subject hang on unedited crappy video go for it Zippo go for it uh, I'm trying to reach the plug in and we've already got the action in the camera, so let's get some lights. Okay, here we go. Find a different plug. Here we are. Alright, where you guys are looking, hopefully, under here, is... Hang on, let me get something to point with. That'll make it easier. This bracket right here. See this bracket that I'm pointing at? Um, that bracket, I already took the nut off of it, by the way. That bracket has allowed the cable to slip. And because the cable has slipped, um, I need to unslip the cable. I need to move the cable back down. So that's what we're going to do right now. First, I'm just going to go ahead and get the cable out of its perch here maybe come on come out of there come out of there there you go out oh it doesn't want to come on come on come on out there that's a good cable all right now maybe you guys can see a little better this has slipped. You can see how the uh, vinyl sheathing has collapsed right there, I think. Can you see that? Where that vinyl sheathing has collapsed. This pulled down and as a result all I have to do is screw it back and I need to screw it back a ways because it really pulled that sheath down quite a ways. And it probably took time to happen. And this is just crimped. And because it's just crimped and not actually secured, 
it's going to run the risk of collapsing down again. Uh, so I'm going to crimp it again really, really hard. Hopefully, with my Nipex, Knipex, and Kneepex was a new one that I heard. Kneepex. I don't know what Kneepex are, but I heard it on the YouTubes. I don't remember who said it. I thought it was just interesting. There's so many pronunciations for these things. I'm just, I'm really, 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 I want that sucker to stay. I do not want it to loosen back up. Yeah, it won't even turn on there now. Good. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to adjust it again, right? Okay, we can stick this back in the handle. And I need to get it back in its respective spot. And the cable needs to go the other way, so I need to pull it back out and run it this way. Is that right? Nope. Uh, let me see. Let me get that in position here. Let me get that in the spot that it was in. Give me just a second, guys. I've got myself disoriented now. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. I had my routing messed up. I couldn't remember how I routed it. So we've got it in place. It's working like it should. Let's see down here. And this one needs an extra long throw because this is the drive. So pull it back and move it all the way forward and all the way back. You don't want to shut your engine off when you get up here. So, hold it. And I'm going to do that same thing right here. You'll see it just moves a little bit. Now I'm going to have to shut it off. Now with it all the way forward, I'm going to let go of the bail like this and you'll see that it will come back a lot and then shut it off. Now, we need to put gas in this thing and see if it's going to come to life. So let's do that right now. have to move the V-Star back in pretty quick because it is looking like it's going to rain. Of course it does need a bath, but I'd rather give it a bath, not have it given a bath. And hopefully audio is working. Didn't even check that. Y'all ready? Make sure everything's out of the way over here. Yes, everything's out of the way. We'll move it around here for you. Is that good? That's good. Let's see, just blowing air in it cured what ailed us. That cured it. That wasn't too bad, now was it? But like I say, I've got the parts cleaner warming up. I'm gonna take it back all back apart, throw it in the parts cleaner, take it back out, and uh, then I'll give Robert a call, tell him to come pick up him push mower. But it's kind of neat. You can just blow it out with an air hose and sometimes clear things out. That was easy. All right, gang. So if you like that, this rather long repair video on this. You can subscribe right there. Over here is a random video. And over here is my latest upload of the new motorcycle. Or whatever happens to show up. We'll see you guys on the next one.